Hello guys, this is Shubham Bharadwaj and back with an another video with a new scenario of process builder. So today we are going to see how to update the related record in your eBay process builder. So let's see today's scenario. So today's scenario is in Salesforce as we know each opportunity can have multiple quotes. Whenever a quote is accepted by the customer then auto update description field to final quote. They also want to update the related quotes status from same opportunity to denied. Okay, so I will explain you according to the scenario we are having a opportunity and uh, opportunity can have multiple quotes over there. So if one of the quote having a status accepted then you have to update the description of the quote to final quote and you have to make the status of other quotes other quotes means uh, those quotes who don't have the status accepted make their make the status denied so that's the scenario of our today's video so let's so first of all you have to give the name of your process so i simply update the related record if you want to give any description of your process you can simply i select a record changes here click, click on save now i have to add object so what is the object we are working on got yeah you got it so simply type code here and select code uh, we want when we update or create a code so upper process will fire so we will choose when a record is created or edited and after that you can simply save it now we have to add the criteria so according to the scenario you know our criteria is court status is accepted then you have to fire the process builder or process so simply uh, you have to give the criteria name I simply type when court status is accepted uh, process builder have to fire and you have to select here status and choose and you have to select accepted here after that you have to save the criteria and now we will uh, move to immediate action uh, we have to select our action type so uh, we have to choose update records after that you have to type give the name to the immediate action so i give the name update the related quotes and after that you have to select the record type so we want to update the related record okay now we have to select the second option select a record related to the quote as in the earlier videos we will choose the first option because we have to update the same record we are working on it now we have to update the uh, related records so simply cl click on this and we have to type the related record so opportunity is a related record over there so click opportunity and in opportunity id on what thing we have to work on we have to work on quotes so simply click on simply choose quotes over there and simply choose after that uh, we have to update the status to denied as per the scenario so choose status select denied and simply save this now we have to again create an immediate action because we have to update our uh, respective quote description so let's again choose update records and give the name update the current quote so simply uh, we have now we choose first option because we have to update the same code record click on choose now you have to update status uh, which is accepted and now you have to update the description and you have to type final code simply to distinguish that our process builder will work or not to uh, let you know that it works so I simply uh, type here by Salesforce Geek okay 
uh, now I simply save this immediate action after that uh, now you will see our process builder process is ready and uh, now we have to activate it uh, we simply activate it now uh, we have to check that our process builder will work, will work or not so for that we have to move into app launcher and click on opportunities So as you see, I already made an opportunity over there. So scrolling down, you will see that there are lot of cops. So I simply click on view all. So as you see, already see there are four cops available in the opportunity I created earlier. So I will let you know about the status of these cops. So I simply click one by one. So as you see that the status is needs review and checking second court the status is draft checking third one the status is draft and the fourth one the status is draft so let's check whether our process builder will work or not so we simply go to our first court which is a1 court now we simply uh, or change the status of our code to accepted and uh, simply click on mark as current status so our process builder will should have to fire now we will going to check the details of this code as we give the uh, process builder uh, to update our description field so you will see over there final code by salesforce geek that means our process builder will work and now we check the uh, other ports status because as I earlier uh, before process builder execute uh, our status is draft now it should be denied so checking by one by one status of our other ports so as you will see uh, the status is denied so I think there is some technical issues so you will see a3 is also denied and now checking a4 a4 is also denied so that's it for today's video and guys if you don't able to see uh, a quotes option over there in your opportunity so first you have to enable it so that's it for the today's video and if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe our channel